Hey, this is just a quick installation video for the Flex Search module from modularfilemaker.org. Um, I am going to be installing uh, this module in the Invoices Starter Solution that ships with FileMaker Pro. I just want to point one thing out real quick. This is not completely stock. I changed one thing. I changed the uh, primary key fields to um, get UUID instead of serial numbers. Uh, that's something I do in uh, basically every solution that I build. Um, but there's a specific reason I did it um, for Flex Search in this installation video, which I will explain later. Anyway, um, so uh, it's pretty easy to do. The first thing you do is just go to the tables in the example file and copy the Flex Search table. Go to your solution and paste it. Click OK. Next thing you do is go to the script workspace and you're going to copy this modules folder. Or if you already have a modules folder, you can just copy uh, these um, folders into your module. And if you have hyperlist, just copy flex search in. But I don't have any, so I'll copy the modules and I shall paste that into my script workspace in my file. And uh, if you want, you can just do a quick check to make sure that none of these scripts got renamed. Um, and they all look good. Okay. And then you're done there. And um, then the last thing you do is just pop over to uh, the Pro or uh, the iPhone layout, depending on what uh, layout you're building, and copy this whole uh, group of objects right here. And you're going to paste that into your solution. And then you're going to give it a spin. So let's search for a cuff. Found it. And uh, advantage. Cool. So that's working. Let's try out the flex search. Let's uh, look for the same record, just but without the first letter. And that works fine. Uh, and let's look for the last two digits of this. It's zero, four. Cool. So that's working perfectly. And uh, you're set. You can just copy this thing onto any layout that you want to search. So let's try the products, uh, computer. And um, let's just try pewter. Nothing, but let's turn on flex search. Click enter, and you're set. So that's working exactly as it should. And uh, you're set. Now, if, if your solution um, is just going to be local uh, and you're not going to host it on FileMaker server, then you're done. That's technically all you need to do. If you are going to host it on FileMaker server, there's a couple more steps. And let me just show you what those are real quick. So the first thing you need to do is, um, in your file, go to the relationship graph. And uh, you'll see that we have a flex search table occurrence that was created. And we are going to copy, or we're going to make a new table occurrence for each of the tables that we're searching. So if a layout that you're searching is based on uh, one of these tables, um, then you need to create a new table occurrence for it and relate it to ID list, where ID list equals your primary key field. Or if your primary key field is using serial numbers, then you need to create a new field that uses get UUID and connect this to that instead. And um, that's just because uh, that's the way I built it and that was the way I was able to get this thing to run really fast. Um, so uh, Again, I use UUIDs as my primary key field, but if you're not and you're using serial numbers, then just create a new field uh, for that. So I'm just renaming these to flex search, um, and then my table name, but you can name them whatever you want. That's just for my own peace of mind. So that's all there is to do there. And now you need to pop into your script workspace and go to your newly created modules folder, go to flex search, and here in the configuration folder, there's a script called flex search go to related. We need to edit this script to include an else if block for each one of those table occurrences we just created. So the way you do that is we have an example one here. You go to the calculation for else if, you're going to uncomment it, and then you're going to set this to that UUID field that you're using. In my case, um, we're using, uh, let's do customers first, the primary key field. So I'm going to go ahead and do that, not as empty that primary key, and then 
go to related, you're going to set that to the uh, corresponding table occurrence, flex search customers, and we're going to use layout, layout name by calculation, get script parameter. And uh, that's all you have to do, and then just create a new block for each one of those table occurrences. So um, let's do the uh, product, flex search products table now. So flex search products, product ID match field. That all looks good. Now go to related is flex search products and make sure that the show re record using layout is set to layout name by calculation and then get script parameter is the calculation. And that's all you need to do. We have our two blocks for our two uh, searchable tables. And now, um, there's just one more thing you have to do. You go into layout mode, and for each of your search objects, go to the script triggers, and you'll see this on object keystroke um, script trigger, and you need to set the script parameter to that U or uh, the corresponding UUID field for the table that you're on. So whatever layout you're on, we're on products. In my case, it was that primary key field. But if you created a new UUID, set it to that. So we're doing the ID match field there, and um, we're going to do the same for customers. On object keystroke, change the script parameter to our UUID field. Click OK. And you're set. That will work on the server perfectly, and it will be super fast. Um, now, if you're happy with everything as is, you're set to go. Um, you can just copy this onto any new layout, and all you have to do is uh, set this um, script parameter to match your UUID field for that layout, and then do the other previous two steps where you create a new table occurrence and then create a new block in that script. Um, and that's only if you're on server, otherwise you don't need to do any of that. Um, okay, and uh, there's a couple more things that I can show you that I will just show you real quick. By default, um, this uh, flex search find will will look at every field that's on the table that's not global or a merge field or a container. So um, if you don't want that to be the case, and uh, for example, if you're looking at a customer's uh, detail layout, you'll see we have a bunch of fields on here that you may not want to search. Um, you may only want to search a couple of these. Um, all you need to do is go to the example file, copy this blue off-screen object, and it's called flex search fields. Go to your solution and paste it in off screen and then you just need to change this hide object when calculation first on comment and then you you just need to change this middle part and uh, set the fields in this format that you want to search so let's imagine that we just want to search the first and last name first name and last so get field name field colon get field name your next field so that's pretty quick to edit. And um, now let's give that a test. Let's search for this company name. Nothing comes up, which is exactly what we want because we're only searching the first and last name. So now let's search for ACUF. And let's search for Eldon without the W. Perfect. So that's uh, how you customize the search fields. And the very last thing that I can show you is um, how to set the uh, on layout enter and exit script triggers uh, should be fairly self-explanatory if you're a more seasoned developer or an intermediate, but if you're a beginner, let me just show you that real quick. Um, just go into layout mode and script trigger, and this is optional. So on layout exit, we're going to set that to our on layout exit save search bar script. On layout enter, since there's a script already there, we're going to edit that script, and we're going to put in our on layout enter restore search bar in that on layout enter script and let's do the same for products just so we can test this thing out on layout exit and on layout enter we will edit and we will throw in our perform script uh, on layout enter click ok and now if we type in something on this layout, products, and we go to customers, and we type in customers, 
when we pop back to products, it still says products. When we go to customers, it says customers. And if we make a change here, go back to customers, that's still the same. Let's make a couple extra things there. And you can see that it's saving the search bar contents with the layout. So that's all there is to it. Hope you guys enjoyed the installation. Um, hopefully it's not too much of a pain. I think it's pretty quick. All right, have a good one.